Cinco de Mayo and Elmwood at Taqueria Corona for the Corona Taco Tuesday and Cinco de Mayo. Welcome to Nola Gent. Let the good times roll. Cinco de Mayo 2020 was the first opportunity that I had to eat at a restaurant since the hard lockdown closures ended and restaurants were finally able to serve outside. There's another Mexican restaurant right next door to Taqueria Corona, Coretta's Grill, that's also great. But I decided to go to Taqueria Corona out here, which is one of the four locations they have as I was ready for some margaritas, yes. So I spent $30.03 for my food and a pitcher of the house margarita. So the irony of eating at Taqueria Corona during the middle of the Corona pandemic did not escape me. So there's quite a coincidence there. So next we're going to skip ahead in time to September of 2020 when we're eating at the original Taqueria Corona. Nola Gent here at Taqueria Corona, Uptown, yeah! Taqueria Corona is located in the Uptown neighborhood of New Orleans at 5932 Magazine Street, which is about 16 minutes and 5 miles away from the French Quarter. Taqueria Corona is some of our most famous Mexican food as they introduced the term Taqueria to Louisiana, and they are one of the most popular Mexican restaurants in the New Orleans area. They have a large menu with enough items to please nearly any taste. Many people consider this some of the best Mexican food in New Orleans, although the owners are actually from El Salvador. They were inspired by a visit to the New Orleans Jazz Fest. Now let's go ahead and head on inside. So after the owner's visit to Jazz Fest, they decided to relocate to New Orleans and open a restaurant in 1988 to produce authentic Mexican food instead of the Americanized Mexican food that was all that was available in New Orleans at the time. Taqueria Corona Restaurant has now expanded to four locations around the greater New Orleans area, but this original location is still my favorite and the one I've eaten at most of the time. I generally find the service and the food to be uh, a little bit better than their other locations to my personal taste, but then I'm also emotionally attached to it because I used to live not too far from here either. So this was a spot that I could walk to and get a quick meal and enjoy some good margaritas. And they definitely have the better decorations in this location. The uh, other locations aren't quite as interestingly decorated. They definitely have had uh, many years of uh, effort and time put into decorating this original location. And uh, you definitely get a little more fun experience and a little more of a fun vibe from all of the many decorations in here compared to their other locations. So definitely this one gets my vote for the better aesthetic overall. Let's take a look at this menu real quick. So their entrees are named pretty simply and I usually just get the number one most of the time. I also uh, often will get just tacos and I even get the tongue tacos. This is the first and only place actually I've ever eaten tongue tacos. The only other places I know you can find tongue tacos are at the food trucks and food trailer taquerias that are kind of randomly around the area. Some have regular stops. But so, there's a lot of other selections here on the menu to choose from that should make most people happy for their tacos. Then on the other side of the menu, they have another selection of some other items and some desserts and some a la carte items. And they also have a good selection of their margaritas and beers and other beverages on the back of this menu. Then we get a menu with a nice selection of premium tequilas. So if you're in the mood for something a little special, they've got that for you here in the tequila category. Then they have their additional drink menu with the beers available, their house margarita, the El Nino, a sangria, a frozen margarita. Uh, and then they have a house and a strawberry flavored and then wines by the glass. I decided to go with my normal order on the numero uno, which is one chicken soft taco, chicken burrito, and beef flauta topped with guacamole and sour cream. And it is also served with a side of rice and beans and not your regular refried beans, but black beans. Which personally, I find the black beans digest way better for my digestive system. 
And then I like to spice it up. They do give you a good selection of little sauces and spices to put onto your taco. Now, I have to say Mexican food usually is not my favorite thing to eat, so I eat it uh, sparingly because I did live in Austin, Texas after Hurricane Katrina for a year and a half, and that's all those people ate was essentially Mexican food with some really great barbecue. I could eat barbecue nonstop. I really got burned out of the Mexican food. But, you know, every now and then I will uh, break down when I need some margaritas and get a little Mexican food, and I think the uh, Mexican food here at Taqueria Corona is better than anything I had in Austin. I think most of Texas has better food than a lot of the places in Austin, and my uh, small opinion on the whole Mexican food phenomena of Tex-Mex food in Texas. Now everybody in Austin might hunt me down. Ooh, I better watch out. I can't go uh, out there in public anymore, can I? So, uh, you know, tacos. Uh, I'm not that good of an eater of tacos, really. I always make a huge mess. I guess I put too much uh, sauce on top. I drip it all over my hands. I don't see really a clean way to eat a taco, and... Mexican food just uh, mostly seems to be a lot of things wrapped in tortillas, and I always make a big mess out of it with the taco. But hey, if you like tacos, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up, and I'd really appreciate it. And it really does help me with the YouTube algorithm. And comment below and let me know how you like to eat your tacos. Whoa, look at this thing. This actually stays together better. And I call it a flotta, but maybe it's a flotta? I don't know. How do you pronounce it? Flotta, flotta, I don't know. In New Orleans, I think we mostly just call it a flotta, so I don't know. It's probably the wrong pronunciation. Hey, I took French, a little German, never any Spanish. The uh, only time I tried to do Spanish, it doesn't turn out too well. Um, but, you know, luckily if you took some French, you can at least read some Spanish. And a little bit of uh, Latin that goes in there too, right? All those uh, Romance languages. But when I was in Europe doing my foreign language studies in France, I was in Spain for a weekend and I tried to speak some French to the Spanish and they didn't understand a word I said. So uh, we also had some young ladies in my group that ordered margaritas and they got the margarita pizza, not the margarita drink. So just keep in mind that in Spain, the margaritas and pizza, not a drink. Margarita drinks are only in America and Mexico, as far as I know. Um, maybe they've expanded to other places. Comment below and let me know where you've got margarita. And smash that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up, and it would really help me. And, uh, wow, let's dig into this burrito now. Now, this burrito has a lot of uh, black beans in it, too. So, it's got some chicken, black beans, a little sauce on top. It's, uh, you know, got a nice little flavor to it, though. I do like the way they do their black beans here. I do prefer them to the other style of beans that a lot of the other Mexican restaurants use. We also have quite a large population of Hondurans that have uh, been in the New Orleans area now uh, around on Williams Boulevard, which is next to our airport, which now the airport's moved, so it's a little further away from the airport there with a the new airport. The old airport's still nearby there. But uh, there are some really great Honduran restaurants that also make some fantastic black beans. So I just find the uh, black beans taste better to me overall than the uh, brownish, more uh, normally found pinto beans on a lot of the Mexican food menus in a lot of areas. So I will uh, put my preference straight in with the black beans if I'm eating beans. Now, uh, Definitely, we do have our red beans and rice in New Orleans, and we don't have black beans and rice traditionally. Now, here's some of the chicken, and you can see it's quite well coated with that black bean coating there, and uh, I think it makes a nice good flavor combo to me. And it digests way better to me than those uh, kidney beans. Ooh, those kidney beans, for whatever reason, uh, my stomach does not like those, but it seems to be perfectly happy with the black beans. I don't know what it is. I can eat butter beans, I can eat black-eyed peas, I can eat regular peas, I can eat lentils, I can eat um, pretty much every other kind of bean I can think of. I think even uh, hummus, the garbanzo bean, and none of those give me trouble like the kidney bean. Something about the kidney bean and me just don't get along. I don't know what that is. but uh, So yeah, for me, black beans definitely a better choice by far. So just comment below and let me know your favorite kind of bean and uh, how you like it prepared because we have so many ways of doing them in New Orleans. Um, there are some really uh, delicious combinations of things that we'll get around to 
having in our videos at some point that hopefully you will be able to enjoy as much as I do enjoy them. Now, uh, this definitely is a lot of rice and beans here after all of that other food I ate. So I'm definitely getting a little full. It's kind of hard to get it all down after eating all the other items that were on the numero uno. So you definitely get a, a darn good selection of items and you're not going to leave here hungry after a numero uno. So that might be why it is the number one because uh, definitely makes you feel quite happy like you're number one in the restaurant for being completely happy and full. So my belly is definitely very happy right now. And hey, go ahead and smash the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. I really would appreciate it. And then comment below and let me know what your favorite Mexican food and Latin American food is. So the total is $17.08 with an iced tea and the numero uno for my meal for the night. So, thanks to everybody at Taqueria Corona, and tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nola Jet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.